just preparing for Zoom on Facebook. It says you're on. Miss Tech over there. And there we are. So welcome everybody. Today is um, interview series day and I'm interviewing Denise M. Simpson, my great friend. And we've been known each other now for many years, taken many programs together and learned a lot. And now I'm excited to bring her on here with you so that we can share more insight into natural ways to heal and sharing, letting everybody know that it is possible to heal naturally. So welcome, Denise. Thank you, Jackie. It's great to be on. And so Denise, first, uh, let, why don't we have you share with everybody who you are and what you do? Sure. So Denise M. Simpson, denisemsimpson.com. Harley is making a guest appearance here. Um, and I'm the Courageous Heart Coach. My journey through life, my soul's journey has taken me from a mindset of victimhood and trauma. And I have learned to embody courage with my heart to take actions. It's built my confidence. It's empowered me. And I've achieved success because of that. And as a coach, guess what I do with my clients? The same thing. I uh, used to work in corporate pharmaceuticals for 12 years, and I had a corporate um, career before that. But I was harassed out of corporate pharma companies, the world's largest ones. And that really did a lot of damage to me physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And so that's what really triggered a holistic healing journey back in 2010, 2011, 2012. Um, and then that's who's, you know, that made me who I am today. And we have to get to the place where we embrace those those experience right because they push us to get out of our comfort zone and do the healing and discover what our soul's purpose wants us to do yeah it really is an awakening and you've probably heard about the proverbial two by four you know spirit was giving me messages all along i used to commute four to five hours a day from uh the suburbs in new hampshire down to boston cambridge mass and there were so many signs in the subways or on buses or billboards or just things that happen. And I refused to give up the six figure corporate job because the money was so good, but yet I was deteriorating day by day mm -hmm. until finally this trauma happened and my purse was stolen and I was hit by a car that was a hit and run on January 12, 2012. And that was it. You know, when I literally ended up splayed on the hood of a car, martyring myself, it was like, okay, I got the message. And mm -hmm. it was time for a major soul awakening and a major life shift. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just talking to a client this week about what a midlife crisis is. And he was like, well, I'm not in a midlife crisis because there's this stereotype about, you know, buying a convertible and going for a woman, you know, who's 21 and blonde or, you know, no offense to anyone with that comment. But I'm like, that's not what a midlife crisis is. It's the soul's awakening and the soul's calling mm -hmm. to live more meaningfully and to find a vocation that feeds your soul. And that's what being the Courageous Hat Coach is all about for me today. And the way I handled that trauma and healed is through holistic means. And I became a certified hypnotist along the way, certified in Reiki energy work, certified in tapping the emotional freedom technique, and probably more than a dozen other certifications. <laughs> And you know what? I'm living more joyfully, more easily, more pain, pain less. You know, there's more, there's less pain in my life. All of that is just so wonderful. So yes, there are ways to heal holistically. And you ought to know, because I keep forgetting that you worked in the pharmaceutical industry for a long time. Yes. And now you're doing 
um, much more natural ways of healing and helping your clients heal. So what do you have to say about that? What's the difference between the two? Well, the difference between the two is number one, you know, there may be, there is a place for pharmaceuticals in that one of the companies I work for created cells to help burn victims and mm -hmm also created the patient's own cells to grow for knee replacements. And those are autologous cells. Uh, and that means it's from the patient's body. So there's less chance of rejection. So when you're talking gene therapy, that's an appropriate use of pharmaceuticals. However, my biggest gripe with pharmaceuticals you go to the grocery store and it's a 20 foot, if not more, aisle of chemicals that just cover up our symptoms and have side effects. And it, we don't need that. Our bodies can do so much towards healing when we work with our bodies. Good food, water, move your body, get the appropriate amount of sleep and have good sleep hygiene routines, use tapping meditation, hypnosis, or yoga, or other modalities to drive the stress down. Jackie's an expert at bone work for the body and the fascia. OMG, that, you're phenomenal at that, Jackie. And that's a great way to help your body get the stress down as well. When a person works with their body, that's when it can seem like miracles gonna occur. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I love everything. Joyce, Joyce could probably even speak to that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it has longer effects, right? Because, and we're not bashing anything. I used to take x-rays. So I know what it's like to work in a hospital in a, and in the radiology office. And I've seen all the things that a surgery can do to heal people when we've experienced car accidents and major trauma in our life. We are so blessed to have all of that. This, what we're talking about is can be used in conjunction with all of that. And even sometimes can help you heal faster when you're going that route. And also Sometimes it can even take the place of that. So depending on where you are, depending on what you're living with and what your condition is, natural healing can always be used and can sometimes even be more effective. Yeah, especially if we can catch, use the word, you use the word condition and I love that because what we're talking about is holistic means to bring the body back into balance and then keep it in balance. Mm -hmm. So, you know, coronavirus has been around for a year. I would love to hear, see and hear way more discussion about building your immune system up instead of some of the, um, you know, the steroids prescribed. And some people need it. When you get really sick, they need it. I was sick last March. I went through it. So I know what I'm talking about, but I focus as, and yes, I did take some pharmaceutical meds. My lungs needed it to breathe, but I also built the immune system up. Mm -hmm. Vitamin D in the sunshine, vitamin C, you know, 12,000 milligrams of vitamin C in a day. And it's like, that's what turned the corner for me. Mm -hmm. I took care of the food and the water and I did not push myself. I couldn't push myself. I was too weak. I was too sick. But those are the things that helped me heal. And when, I, when my doctor said, I want to put you on steroids. Oh, and by the way, the side effect is it will decrease your immune system. I'm like, you know what? It's contraindicated for my situation. Everyone's yeah. going to make their own informed decisions but we're talking about balance in the body, which means the body is at ease. When we get imbalanced, that's when we have dis-ease and then you need interventions. Right. And you and I have seen clients heal from physical pain, heal from uh, health conditions and heal all kinds of things. 
Yes. And you're, so why, why is that? How is it possible to heal naturally? Yeah. So healing naturally, a lot of it is getting your mind under control, I would say. And then tapping and hypnosis are phenomenal tools to drive the stress response down. We are living in a chronic state of fight or flight syndrome, the stress response, right? The sympathetic system, uh, system is syndrome is triggered in the body. So when people start actively working to turn the stress down, the body's immune systems and other healthy systems can actually elevate and ramp up. Your hormones can modulate. The cortisol goes down, which means you've got less adrenaline. You'll avoid adrenal fatigue, which means you may prevent thyroid problems because those are connected. When you have less cortisol as a middle-aged person and older, you're going to have less weight gain because your body can actually digest more efficiently. When you're getting the stress down, you're going to have fewer food cravings, which means you'll be eating less sugars, fats, salts, you know, the bad stuff. So the more you take care of the body, the better your body will take care of you. Mm -hmm. so what i'm hearing you say is that stress has a lot to do with the physical condition and the mental condition of our mind body because the, there's a mind body connection that needs to be addressed for true healing on all levels absolutely and when you have a sensation in your body it gets so you the, the sensations in the body Think pressure versus relaxation. Muscle tension, which is chronic stress, versus expansion, relaxation, peace, you know, peace of mind. So the sensation in the body, somebody can do something, you can see something or hear something, watching the news even with the statistics and the, the accidents. And the, every day we're exposed to trauma just by watching TV on the news, let alone the, the TV shows and movies. So be judicious about what you let in because all of that has an impact. You see it, you hear it, it goes in the brain, your brain filters it and you feel it in the body as a sensation. Then you attach a label to it of an emotion and you've got stress. And mm -hmm. so that's why it's so crucial. Holistically, the whole body, mind, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Meditation could be a spiritual practice. Peace of mind, slowing down, getting calm, taking a breath even. Just taking a breath and allowing yourself to come down on the body and let the body slow down. It can have a big effect. The results of tapping and hypnosis and Bowen work and these other modalities can be that you reduce the blood pressure. I've seen my diabetic clients improve their A1C by four or five points. They've lost pounds within weeks, if not months. It's healthy, safely too. Um, relationships can change because all of a sudden you're not snapping and being irritable with other people. It's, it impacts everything. And the, the piece about the mind also is the mindset and the patterns. With these tools and when you heal trauma, you actually change your brain structure, the neurons, it's called neuroplasticity. We can get the neurons to wire differently. You will no longer react to some of the triggers the way you used to with the techniques Jackie and I use in our transformational coaching pro programs and uh, businesses. Yeah. And, and I mean, science is really talking about how, when you do these things, you were actually changing the DNA in the body. Yeah. Right? And that's an even more advanced level, but absolutely true. Absolutely. So on that subtle level, we're healing the body and we're healing our families and the generations that come after us. It's a whole healing mind-body that's powerful. 
so powerful. And that's the results that clients get their lives do change. And they are setting themselves up for life to live, mm -hmm. but also for the rest of their lives. There's a double meaning in there. When you change, I work a lot with moms and I work with some you know, dads, um, primarily women, empowerment, confidence, and then wellness and living life more joyfully. So when you can change the mom, the whole family structure changes, yeah. right? When you can change a dad and get him, you know, more relaxed and taking better care of the dads, you're changing it. And then the children see that because the emotions are different in the family the children's hormones level, the children's stress response is going to be different. It does ripple downward. And how a parent acts as a role model sets the child up for what the role model should be. It's going to, it has to, it's just a universal law that they will then have different relationships in a different life because of the healing that one person can do, it ripples outward. Yeah, and you bring up a good point because children are sponges. We are learning everything from how we need to be in the family with how we get to be in the world. And we're shaping, that child is being shaped by what the parents do and what they say and even what they don't say. Yeah. Right. Yes. And that's called the hypnagogic state of the brain waves before when a child's so a child's brain starts being developed in utero, meaning they're going to take on the electrochemical environment of the mother, her emotions, her chemistry, her hormones, her nutrition and sleep and stress levels that will set the baby's brain up. And then there's this explosion of neural development between zero and three and then it still continues zero to ten it's a fact that brains are just in a hypnagogic state they're just a video recorder just like jackie's saying they just take everything in actions non-actions you can speak your words but if they're not congruent with your actions that child relies more on the actions and this yeah. is how mindset and patterns are developed Mm -hmm. so transformational coaching we go in and we work on what's no longer working in a 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 year old yeah. because they're got a brain of a 10 year old that's why we have cope it's really <laughs> beliefs and mindset and limiting blocks and lifestyle patterns that that can be changed and changed for the better. Yeah, so much happens. And I think we're still learning and evolving really how impactful those years are, because I don't think we've really looked at that enough. So the more healing that's done individually, because everybody's important. And the one thing I love about the things that we do, the hypnosis, the tapping is that we're putting control back in our clients' hands. People and women are taking back their control instead of looking outside of themselves for answers. And that's absolutely true. You actually tap on these meridian points. It's the acupressure points, but acupuncture points, but we don't use needles. It's acupressure. That's the control. Tapping can be used anytime. And, you know, the generations past, you would go run into the doctor who would just write out that prescription. Um, I remember when I was 50 years old, I went to my PCP, who I love and who's a great lady, and she's a good doctor in a lot of ways. But I just was like, I didn't ask for prescriptions. And I was really healthy at that point because I was doing so much tapping. I had learned about juicing and smoothies. I was moving my body daily taken really super good care of myself. I had lost 40 pounds the first year I learned how to tap. Wow. And at the end of that appointment, there's my doctor with her prescription pad. And she looked at me, she went, huh, I can't write you anything. <laughs> and I was like, no, she goes, 
you don't need any prescriptions. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I was on a prescription for genetic high cholesterol at the time. So that one we kept. But other than that, it was like, you know, I didn't have the joint pain. I didn't have the meat problems. I didn't have the urinary stuff that other people have. It was, and she expected it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> so we really can take control. We do not have to age the way we were taught. Yeah. With a healthy lifestyle and wellness, we don't have to decay our bodies. Mm -hmm. Yep. We can age gracefully instead of decaying with the sugar, salt, the bad lifestyle stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Joyce, do you have any questions? I'm listening to this conversation and I'm so thankful. So thankful. And finally at my age, six years ago, which I'm now 81, so that was, you figure out how old 75. <laughs> um, that I have these tools that you guys offer. And I mean, I just feel so good. Jackie, you, you know how I've come from one place to the other and it's just absolutely amazing. And when, Denise, one of the first things I said to Jackie when I first met her and knew her is that I had control of my life and I, you know, I was strong, fine, good, everything. I didn't really need, I didn't believe in any of this stuff. Absolutely not. Go to the physical therapist after a surgery or after, you know, whatever. But surgery, but, you know, doing something with up here, uh, I didn't believe in it. You, you should be able to take care of yourself and, you know, get along with life. Um, but she triggered something that was not, I, I knew something wasn't working and then after meeting Jackie and working with her, I realized it wasn't working. And so I put myself in her hands and God thank you, because that led me to the right place to go. And I'm still learning and my wish today is that um, younger people would learn this stuff and not go through the years of pain and misery and and the, the, the belief that everything was okay and I couldn't change it anyway. Yeah, yeah that speaks to the old mindset. Je and Joyce, I just wanna commend you for taking the journey with Jackie. And I've seen you get brighter and lighter and more energized. You smile more, you laugh more. So it's been a pleasure to get to know you over these last three or four years. And I've known Jackie at least about six years, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> so well done, Joyce, for, for being willing and open and willing to change. And you're getting the results. Well, I, I, you know, I just see other things possible now. And, you know, I knew nothing about this hypnosis before. I mean, my, my, my thoughts about hypnosis is seeing something on television where somebody makes somebody you know, hypnotize them and they do something. I don't know what the heck it is. And, but this fascinates me and, and, um, and how it did, you can, you, you can use it. I mean, I'm, I'm opening myself up to learning now, which is more so. Um, and I always felt that I was not good enough, not smart enough, not whatever enough to learn anything. Um, but that's changed. And so I want to get as much knowledge into the head that I can now that because <laughs> I don't I don't intend to, to drop off the side of the earth here in the next couple of years. I'm gonna to live to be as long as I can, as long as I'm healthy and, and able to function well. So I, I love that's why I'm here today. I just love hearing the positive attitude and the positiveness that I can incorporate. And um, just this past week, we were doing, you know, doing something to take care of ourselves. And I found, I just let myself be where I wanted to be. And what a difference it made in my life. Yeah, it's... it's For the first time, putting yourself first, right? Yeah. And it's take, it takes us women so long to like put ourselves first, right? Like, 
even doing this with you right now is like, no way, I want to be outside doing something. But I see something for me, only for me, doing this. So I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Denise. Well, thank You're you. Welcome. Yeah, if I can say one thing about your comment about, you know, hypnosis on TV and I did a thumbs down. <laughs> it's because, no, I love your comment, but it brings up a good point because the Hollywood, the TVs, the movies, they portray hypnosis really badly and there's so many misconceptions in how it is portrayed. All hypnosis is, is a change in your brain wave states. Right now we're, we're in the uh, beta brain wave where this is active, we're conscious, we're present with, the, present with each other. With hypnosis, it's just going into a state of relaxation, which you do every single night anyway. Yeah. So the hypnotist helps a person drift into a theta alpha brain state and that's what helps us access the subconscious so we can change those mindset and patterns I talked about earlier. People who say they can't be hypnotized, you know, maybe only about 5% of people really can't be, but otherwise everyone else can be because you do it naturally. Anytime a person's daydreaming or you're just washing dishes mindlessly, for instance, that is a hypnotic state. So hypnosis is safe, it's effective, it helps change that brain with neuroplasticity, as I talked about. It doesn't just work with the frontal part of the brain where we think, I want to lose 50 pounds and I'm going to will myself to do it. And that's where people, if you're just trying to use the will in the front part of the brain, but you have subconscious programs, that's why people fail at losing weight or any other pattern that they have, speaking, public speaking, making sales, whatever that is. When we get into that subconscious, that's when the magic happens and people make these permanent, long lasting, effective changes towards success. Well, yeah. that's, that's amazing. You, you see, that's what I never understood before. But when I, hearing you say that now is like 30, when I was 50, um, so that's 31 years ago, um, the doctor I was going to, I used to get awful acute bronchitis. Well, I smoked back then. I got really, I mean, really bad. I mean, I couldn't, it was terrible. And so the, I had a woman doctor, Dr. Goldring, and she's, um, she would say, well, are you still smoking? Yeah, well, what do you want? Then she goes, <laughs> you know. So I knew that I would have to go to her, you know, for something because it was bad. And I said, I can't until I really try to stop smoking. So I waited a couple of weeks. Then I went to her and I, she said, the first thing she said, are you still smoking? And I said, I am trying to cut, I am cutting down. I am trying to quit. Mm -hmm. And I said, and I told her how much I had gone down. And she said, all right, no lecture. She said, keep it up. Well, I quit within three weeks and I have never smoked since. And so that it's got to be that with that mindset, but I I didn't know how that worked. Now I, you know, when you you understand something, it makes a huge difference. And I'm thinking now, boy, if I could just do that with some other things now, but the awareness is that I can. Yes. Mm -hmm. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, awesome. And I saved a lot of money too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, I wish we could continue talking all day because I love these topics, but time is of the essence and I have to get going. So Denise, can you please share with everybody how they can get a hold of you and make sure to come back and put your contact information in the comments? I will put in the comments. So it's denisemsimpson.com for the website. You can reach me on Facebook and YouTube as Denise M. for Marie Simpson. Um, pretty much I'm all over the place is Denise M. Simpson. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank yeah. you again, Denise, for all of this information. So you are a wealth 
of information and knowledge. And everybody contact Denise if you would like more information. Joyce, thank you so much for being here. I love your thank insights. Thank you for getting, letting me be involved with you guys. I, I, I love it. Thank you're you. getting younger every year. I feel so, it. Everybody have a great day. Enjoy today. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Bye. Bye-bye now. My pleasure.